time is our tastic and it is winter so my friend we are going to be drawing a lovely snowman perfect for winter however this is just not any ordinary snowman you see this guy is a little stressed out because well usually when we make a snowman eventually the sun comes back and the snowman starts to melt so it's a little bit stressed out because well the sun's back so grab your favorite mark making mediums and Let's make some art. All right, so we're going to begin our snowman who is a little bit fearful that the sun is coming back because, you know, often there's a snowstorm and then a couple days later, that sun comes back and it starts to warm up our snowman. So we're gonna draw a snowman who is suddenly realizing that there is the sun and it is getting warm. So we're gonna begin our snowman here with kind of a wobbly blob at the top. Of course, it is starting to get a little bit warm and so the snow was a little bit uneven as well when we build our snowman they're not always perfect, are they? All right, we're gonna do two curved lines just below for a knot and the scarf and then connect that at the bottom. Next, we're gonna draw two curved lines on either side. And we're gonna connect those to that little knot in the scarf. And if you wanna add a pattern on your scarf, you feel free to do that if you would like one. I'm also gonna add two rectangles just below the knot with some tassels for the remainder of that scarf and I'll continue my pattern down it as well. All right, next we're gonna draw two little U shapes on either side of where the middle section of the body will be and that will just be for the beginning of our snowman's arms or snow person's we're gonna draw two long wavy lines out and with little branches coming off. We have to think that tree branches are not perfectly straight out. They are natural forms, so we want to make them look as natural as possible. We'll do that on the other side as well. And we wanna make them look different because no two branches are of course the same. we're going to draw the middle section of the body so we're going to draw two lines down to the branches and then we're going to draw a nice wobbly sort of middle section where you can tell that this snow is a little bit under stress and it has already started that melting process and of course we need one more section so we're going to draw another wobbly sort of flattened Part, and then we'll give it a bit of snow around it with some curving lines. And that, of course, will add some snow texture. If you want to be really dramatic, you can add a little pool of water just below your snowman with some sort of wavy lines. And to add a bit of contrast to make it stand out, we can go around that a second time with our mark maker just like that of course if it's water you can add some shiny spots on it so it looks nice and shiny all right we're gonna start off with adding a couple buttons and then we're gonna do our snowman's face do, do, do. Okay, snowman's face. Okay, we're gonna start off with a carrot. So we're gonna put a curve in the middle or letter C in the middle of the face and you can draw a nice carrot. Of course, carrots are not perfect. So we can add a little bit of character or gesture onto there. And now we're gonna do some fun facial features. This is a stressed out snowman. So we're not gonna do a traditional snowman cool face. Instead, we're gonna do a nice big eyes. So we're going to start off by drawing some big circles or sort of rectangular shapes. 
And then you're gonna go around them a second time to thicken up that border to make the outside nice and thick and black to make sort of a stunned sort of look. And now we're gonna draw a mouth. So we're gonna draw a nice sort of rounded rectangle. And then we're gonna draw one line across and a bunch of lines down. for a very stressed out snowman. We're gonna draw some sweat drips on its forehead. And a few on the body as well, where it's getting rather hot. We're also gonna draw some drips of water sort of splashing off our snowman. He's getting very antsy and stressed out. Over on one of the branches, we can draw a little bird sort of looking at him like, are you okay? So we're gonna start with the bird's eye. We can add a little pupil on there, leaving a little bit of white. We're gonna draw a beak, a nice sideways triangle. Don't forget to add a nostril so your bird can breathe. Round head, we'll add a little wing, and a nice little tail here. All right, of course, we gotta add a sun. So somewhere up in your sky or background, you can go ahead and add any sort of style of sun you would like. Once you're done, you're ready to color. So grab your choice of art making mediums to color with. We're gonna get ahead here and I'm gonna start off with some brown so I can draw or color in all those lovely branches. Okay, so you can go ahead and color in your snowman or snow person that's melting with your choice of colors. And then we'll shade it together with our gray.
And once you're done, you can go ahead and grab a nice gray marker or art medium, whatever you would like. And we're going to first shade around the eyes. And under the nose and around the mouth. Shade up the branches along the bottoms. We're going to shade on the scarf where the overlap of the head is, where it's casting a nice shadow there. And just under the scarf as well. Around where the branches are, around the buttons, under each of the layers that are casting shadows onto the part below, and on the bottom, and onto that water, around where the water is casting a little shadow on the snow, around the snowy fluffs. Lovely. Just like that. Oh, but I forgot the eyes. Add a little shadow just inside the eyes here. Perfect. Maybe I'll add a little. Hmm. I feel like it needs a little bit of something. 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 Let's do a little bit of blue in the eyes. Maybe we'll add a little blue just like this. With just a fine little line on one side. Oh yeah. Remember, there's no rules in art. You can do whatever you would like on your own art project. And just like that, your stressed out, sort of melty snowman or snow person is done. I'm Mr. Cassie, and I just want to say thank you so much for drawing with me in this drawing episode. Make sure that you subscribe to this channel and like the video and tell me all your questions and comments in the comments section below the video. If you're a teacher or a homeschool parent and you're looking for 30 complete art projects ready to go for your classroom or at your homeschool program, check out my course 30 um, art lessons for kids called Making Art with Kids. 30 art lessons that are perfectly designed and ready to go to play at home or in your classroom, complete with video art tutorials, rubrics, assessments, all your step-by-step -step worksheets. It's fully planned and ready to go. And they're all art lessons that are designed around your students' interests or your kids' interests, all designed to engage kids with both the art mediums and the themes of the art projects. So check out my course, Making Art with Kids. Again, 30 complete art lessons ready to go to use as your curriculum for art in your classroom or at home in your homeschool program. The link for making art with kids can be found in the description of this video, so check it out now and let's make some art.